What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. So we had Tim Zhu versus Carlos Ocampo over the weekend. And, uh, hey, Tim Zhu rolled Carlos Ocampo up out the ring like a roly-poly. He got that boy up out of there, made quick work of him. But <clears throat> if you want the truth, you want me to be technical. I mean, that's what they wanted to happen. It was, it was, it was set up to where Tim Zhu made a statement to some to one of Earl Spence's previous opponents to where it can be talked about. So you can kind of tie up Tim Zhu's name with Earl Spence with a. Uh, similar opponent to build up to generate some hype for a Jamel Charlo fight, basically. I'm going to keep it all the way G. It wasn't like Carlos Ocampo was supposed to come in there and be some kind of competition or something, but even though he, he, he'd been on a streak or whatever since he beat Earl Spence, but a streak on who? <laughs> so, Tim Zhu did what he had to do, came in there and just like pummeled him. He he, he did something. <laughs> he just did that. He grabbed the dustpan and he scooped that man up out of there, man. But I gotta say though, Jamel Charlo ain't no Carlos Ocampo. And to me, Tim Zhu might be the best opponent Jamel Charlo fought just by me looking. But at the same time, his style reminds me of all them other dudes. Uh, it reminds me of Rosario. Remind me of Castano. I mean, he's an aggressive dude. He's a very aggressive. He has some good boxing skills. But at the end of the day, Jamel Charlo got the footwork. I heard a clip where Jamel Charlo talked about um, I thought this was like cold, just the way he said it. It was just a bar. <laughs> you remember? So Jamel Charlo did an interview with Steven Jackson. He was like, he was breaking down Tim Zoo, and he was like, I, I can't sing, but I can dance. And I thought that was just, just that was just nice, bro. <laughs> that was, that was, you feel me? If Jamel was a rapper, that would have been, that would have been a lyrical moment. That would have been just something that was genius. That was nice though, the way he put that. But he right though, man. He got the footwork, bro. He got he was dancing with Chris Brown and, and, and they were doing backflips and cartwheels and things like that. So he got the foot good fast footwork to where a lot of guys it's hard for them to cut the ring off against Jamel. So Jamel Charlo gets you to follow him around. Do 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 you follow him around and next thing you know, he darting in with something you ain't expecting and he punched so hard. Yeah, he gonna end up hurting you, and then he's so much of a good finisher, he gonna stop you, bro. So that's how Jamel fight. Like he cold with what he do. But I say this though, I give Tim Zoo the benefit of the doubt. I don't like giving dudes the benefit of the doubt, but I say this one thing, one thing. Jamel Charlo sometimes have these performances the first time he fight you to where it begins, you know. He had them little performances to where I, it was close, maybe. And, and Jamel seemed like he don't even care about losing at this point because he, he know I, I rematch you, I'm going to knock you out. So that's how Jamel Charlo is. You might have a close fight like how Tony Harrison beat uh, Jamel the first time or Costano had a nice close fight. The first time, but the sooner he go, go back in the gym, he get to working. He working with Derrick James. He working with the dude, uh, Guzman, the other little trainer he got. Not a little trainer, I'm sorry. I, I was just saying. But the other trainer he got, uh, Guzman, he work with them two, mix it up, mix it up. They come up with a formula, and he come back. He knock you out. That's how it go every time, bro. So... With that being said, it's like, man, 
Tim was too nice, but it's like Jamel Charlo, man. To me, he already like a legend for real, for real. It's like I never seen somebody who beat up so many tough dudes, knock them out at that. And don't even get the credit for it. Like, they don't even want to put him on pound, pound. Like, really, for real, for real. He should have been number one a long time ago. If not to the top three or something. Because look what he do. So, I'm just saying, man. For Tim Zoo, man, your ass, you're going to get knocked out, bro. Like the rest of them. Whether if you don't have it the first time, it's going to be the second time. You're going to get slept, bro. And it's going to be over for Tim. You can go back to the zoo. See, that's what's going to happen to you. I'm just saying, man. But dude, dude, super aggressive, though. I ain't going to lie, man. The moment he heard him, it was like he seen blood. He smelled blood. He was on Carlos Ocampo, bro. Carlos Ocampo, I mean, he's a very skinny, frail dude for 154. I mean, he, Earl Spence was bigger than him at 147. So, Earl stopped him with a body shot. Tim Zhu stopped him with a head shot. So, I mean, it was built for that. So, they basically put Tim Zhu as an authorized user on Earl Spence's credit card. If you want to keep it a brick, I'm just saying, man, that's what it was, man. He's an authorized, he piggyback. He's an authorized user. And it was what it was. And Jamel Charlo, that's a different story. And we're going to see what that be like. But that being said, man, y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe already. And I'm out. Deuces.